one, a two, a one, <laughs> two, three, four. Lately I've been, I've been climbing high, dreaming about topping Mount Sinai. But baby, I've been, I've been breathing hard. I need more oxygen or I won't, I won't reach the stars. Feet on the ground, hemoglobin sound, oxygen is easily found. All of that's about to change as I step on the mountain range. I change, makes me acclimate, heart changing and faster rate. Body adapting all the time, so I won't break down and die. I feel the PSI going down. song. Hopefully you found it both entertaining and educational. Now let's look at the effects of altitude on the body in more detail. The higher you climb, the lower the air pressure will be. This means that there are less oxygen molecules in every breath you take, and so your body receives less oxygen than usual. This is problematic as our body requires a certain amount of oxygen to function. To compensate for the lack of oxygen being received, we will begin to breathe faster in a process known as hyperventilation. However, breathing is composed of both inhaling oxygen and breathing out carbon dioxide, and so when we hyperventilate, large amounts of carbon dioxide are expelled. But why does the amount of carbon dioxide in our bodies even matter? Well, as an acid gas, carbon dioxide plays an important role in maintaining proper pH levels in our bodies, and many processes in our bodies can only function at a certain pH. Thus, losing carbon dioxide at such a fast rate shifts our bodies towards being more basic in a process known as respiratory alkalosis. Our bodies will try to return back to a normal pH by compensating through metabolic acidosis. Bicarbonate is a basic element used by our bodies as a buffer. In metabolic acidosis, our bodies try to decrease the levels of bicarbonate through reducing its production and increasing its secretion in the urine. This is why one of the side effects of climbing to a higher altitude is increased urination. 
Although it will take a few days, this metabolic acidosis will allow our body's pH to return almost back to normal. So hopefully you've learned something about how our bodies maintain proper acid-base balance when we climb to higher altitudes. Thanks for watching and see you next time.